Going up right now in the city of Arlington, a brand new $30 million library. And while you may think that sounds like a thing of the past, our Gilma Avalo shows us why cities are willing to invest in their future. Arlington's library of tomorrow is under construction today. The work nearly finished on the gleaming three-story, 80,000 square foot building that will house more than books. This one here, this is a rooftop garden. Designed for people to connect, says Director of Libraries Yoko Matsumoto. Having a casual area where people can sit and chat and talk. That's right, talking in the library. When I say the word public library, most of the time people get that shh and it's a house for books, right? But this isn't your grandmother's public library. I would definitely say the library is cool. It's a cool place to be. You may be surprised to learn that millennials are the generation using libraries most. According to recent data from the Pew Research Center, more than half of millennials visited the library in 2016. We're talking physically walking into these buildings. I am in the library probably like two or three times a week. They're coming in for the technology that goes beyond free Wi Fi, <laughs> gadgets like 3D printers. Mania Shore, Fort Worth Public Library director, says these spaces offer what Instagram and Snapchat can't. People need to go places where they are around other human beings, and there's nowhere else in the city that you can do that for free without judgment in a safe place all day long. Arlington's efforts to attract millennials are obvious, from free coffee cupping classes to 90s trivia collaborations with local pubs. The first thing you're going to see is a discover wall right here. The new downtown library is a chance to reimagine everything, including bookshelves made especially for little hands. Like vinyl records, that's how children search for books. A colorful children's area will feature an Instagram ready background. They can set their child on that ruler, and as they grow, they just kind of take the photo. In addition to books, you can check out hobbies in the makerspace. Think sewing machines and vinyl cutters you can use for free. And they might find a talent they didn't even know was there. Writing a new chapter and closing the book on an outdated image. We left the card catalog behind a long, long time ago. Great to see those new habits forming for the little kids. The George W. Hawks Downtown Library is set to open to the public June 16th. And while we're talking libraries, there are so many free resources card holders may not know about. In Arlington, Mansfield, Grand Prairie, and Kennedale, users can get free training in anything from Photoshop to 3D animation through lynda.com. Doesn't that sound cool? In Fort Worth, card holders get five free song downloads a week through Freegal. And that includes new music, too. All right.